Hello guys and welcome back to Controls Hero. In this video tutorial I will show you all about the Rate Limiter module in the Johnson Controls CCT software. I use it a lot when working with PIDs. Basically I connect this module in between my PID output and the output that I want to control to. In this case I have a supply fan uh, BFD speed. And here's a quick demonstration. So right now I'm controlling to supply air static pressure. My set point is one inch and my actual static is two inches. It's just a simulation right now. So since we have a lot of static, you can see that my PID is at zero. So now let's, uh, let's uh, drop that uh, suddenly to uh, zero static pressure. So you will see what happens. Let me send the command. And you'll see that the PID will go rapidly all the way to 100%. But the rate limiter is limiting the output of the PID. See how uh, it's slowly going up? Well, it's a little quick because it's a simula uh, simulation running at a five times its normal speed. But you can see that it, it took some time to go all the way to 100% speed. Now let's increase my static. Right now we have zero, so I'm gonna go ahead and put let's say 1.1, just a bit above uh, the one inch set point. Send the command and, and, and watch what's gonna happen. So my PID is gonna drop a little bit, not all the way down to zero. It's not a sudden change, but see how um, the rate limiter is kind of catching up with the uh, the PID, and that's because. Uh, there are no sudden changes and also it's because the rate limiter uh, parameters uh, which I'm gonna explain next right now I have a 50 uh, change per minute so I'll explain that in a minute so you'll see that the rate limiter is, is catching up with the PAD output and zero now before we move on i want to ask you for a favor if you think these video tutorials are helping you increase your cct skills please consider subscribing to my channel and like this video okay so now let's create a rate limiter from scratch so i can show you all of the parameters so i'm just going to exit my simulation and i'm going to delete my current rate limiter and we'll add a new one okay so i'm going to select it i'm going to delete hit delete Confirm yes. And uh, the easiest way is just to type rate limiter. You can see that it's right there. So I can just select it and pull it over. And I'm just going to click here, here, and connect it to my fan. Now I want to expose all of its parameters so we can uh, make connections. I'm just going to right click to it, expose port for connection, and I'll do start a value, rate limit, limit active, and I'll explain all those one by one. All right, guys, so I went ahead and created three additional inputs and one more output. And the reason for this is because I map all these points in Metasys so I can show you the graphs uh, of the trend data. And that's going to be easier for you to understand how uh, this rate limiter uh, actually behaves. So I have my PID signal going straight to this output and also going through the rate limiter onto the uh, supply fan speed. So we're going to be able to compare both outputs in the graphs as we change the parameters of the rate limiter and enable and disable our PID. Okay, so one last thing before we head into Metasys. In order to get the startup value to work, we must disable the rate limiter. And the only way I know of doing it is by using a hyperactivity. Uh, same thing with the PID loops. In order to disable the PID loops, it must be in a hyperactivity. So when it's on, it's enabled. When my hybrid activity is off, there's no PID, there's no rate limiter, uh, so they are disabled. And actually I have a zero command to my PIDs and speed. And what enables this hybrid activity is just a, a simple system run command. So just keep that in mind. And if you're not familiar with hybrid activities, please comment below and I can create a quick video tutorial on that.
All right, so I'm here in Metasys. I have all of my points mapped over here. I got my PID output and my supply fan speed, which is the uh, rate limiter output. And on the right hand side, I have my uh, rate limiter parameters, which are three. And we're gonna go over one by one. And down below, I have uh, two trends, one for the PID and the other for the rate limiter. So you can see how they behave. And these are all of my default values for the parameters. So we have a zero a startup value, or active limit is true, and our rate limit is 100 change per minute. So I wanna start with the rate limit. So let's see what happens uh, when I enable my PID. I go to enable, and if you notice, my static pressure is almost zero, so the PID should go to 100% right away. And by the way, I have, uh, I think I have five seconds trends for these two points. So, yeah, let's see what happens. So you can see that my PID is going up. It's gonna go all the way to 100 right away. And my VFT uh, speed is gonna be right behind it. You can see that the PID already reached 100 and my rate limit is still uh, going up. And I'm going to be doing a lot of fast forwarding to speed up the trend recording. Now that we've reached the 100% signal, let's cut the rate limit by half and see what happens. And I'm going to simulate my static pressure to go almost to 2 inches so my PID goes to 0 right away. PID at zero, and my supply fan speed uh, 95%. And is, if, you can, if you look at the trend data, it's coming down exactly by half the rate of change. So it will take twice as much for the rate limiter to reach down to zero. Let's do one more before we move on to the next parameter. Let's change the rate limit to 25 change per minute. And I'm using a little dial to change the static pressure. So let's uh, bring that down to zero. And you will see that the supply fan speed, the rate limiter is gonna change first before the PID. And that's just the refresh rate of Metasys. So, cause, cause the PID is actually changing first, but you will see that in the trends. Now you can see that my rate limit of 25 is four times slower than the, the one for 100 uh, change per minute. Now let's go the other way around. Let's change my rate limit to 150. Here you already know what's gonna happen. And note that you can change the rate limit at any time and you will see the changes instantly. And the next parameter is the limit active. And what it does, it basically enables and disables your rate limiting. So let's change its value from true to false. So we're disabling it. Let's drop the static down to zero. And you can see that both of my values, the PID and the rate limiter went to 100% right away. No rate limiting at all. Now let's go the other way. Let's set the static pressure to the highest value. And you will see that both will drop to zero. It's just that this little lag in Metasys that you, you always see the supply fan dropping before the actual PID. Now let's do a little experiment. Let's disable the limit active and re-enable it as the rate limiter is going up. PID at 100 rate limiter slowly going up so now let's disable the limit active and my output instantly goes to 100 percent and the last parameter is the startup value and basically that's what its name implies but there's a little catch it only works when the rate limiter module gets enabled and it has nothing to do with the limit active parameter and as I mentioned before, this module needs to be inside a hyperactivity in order to get the startup value to work. 
Okay, so let's disable the rate limiter by disabling the system enable. This will also disable the PID loop. And let's make sure our limit active is true. And back to CCT, we can see that the hyperactivity is in the off state. And clicking on it, you can see that there is no PID or rate limiter in here. It is only in the on state where they reside. Okay, so now let's give it a try. Let's put a 30 on the startup value. And now let's enable the system enable. And we should expect a 30 on my supply fan speed. Okay, 30. And order, notice what's going to happen. It's going to follow the PID for a second. 26. But then my PID goes up to 50. So it's, it's going to start going up again. And you can notice that short drop in the blue graph. Now I want to disable my limit active and re-enable it to show you that this has no effect on the startup value. So nothing happens. Now let me drop the static pressure. And the rate limiter just works normally. All right, so for my last test, I want to disable my system enable and have the limit active set to false. And this will be hard to cache because of the metas is lagging. Enabled. And my speed is going to be 23.5. But then starts going up following the PID. So I don't think it started at 30. I think the metas screen just is lagging. Alright, this is the end of my video tutorial on the rate limiter. I still wanted to cover the formula that calculates the actual output increments, but I will leave that for a second part video. So if you think this tutorial was useful, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And if there's any specific module you will want me to cover in the future, please comment below. Thank you and see you next time.